I'll be honest. MGK? Why do y'all keep typing MGK? Like he like he's ever been good. Didn't he black his body too? There's no way this is gonna be good, bro. Come on, man. Lately, my thoughts eating me alive. Laying in the bed thinking maybe that hate will finally go away if I'm not alive. Wish I didn't listen, just like I wish they would understand me one time. I had a breakdown and tatted my entire body except one line. Everything's just fine. Slipping again, there I go slipping again. I'm acting different again. I see my family's reflection every time I look in the cup and I sip it again. After the sins, tell me after all the sins, will I be mentioned again? Why do I care? If in the end it's just me and God, like I'm Christian again. Yeah. Slim Brenda B. Day. Before my dad left the surf, he made sure I took on every quality I didn't want. I was supposed to die at birth, gave me a chance and I fucked it up, give me another one. I've been running from secrets I hid as a kid and I never confronted them. I just called mom, said I'd forgive her for not being there when I needed one. I'm coming back, just let me go. I'm coming back, just let me go, yeah. I'm coming back, just let me go. Coming back, don't let me go. Who am I when the music stops? And the character that I've been playing is really just broken and fucking lost. I swear I've been telling you over and over again in all of these songs. But they don't hear nothing I'm writing because they're too busy trying to write me off. And they go on and on and No, I'm listening. I'm listening to what you're saying. I'm I'm it's hard to be drawn in when it's being delivered like this, you know. It's really bare bones. Lil Dicky Flo, he gonna be on next season of Dave Guaranteed LOL. Chill. It's bare bones, so you can really hear what he's saying and really feel him out, you know? It's funny, cause if we just sat and talked, you'd see that it's just hard for me to be vulnerable, cause I blocked it off. I got trust issues growing up, no one was there to hear what I thought. My heart was broken like my ribs as a kid, when me and my father fought. Yeah, I'm medicating with something that I cannot pronounce, but it's what the doctor gave me. Rehab patient with a pen and some paper. The psychiatrist keeps evaluating. How can I live with the fact that my hand wasn't on a stomach when we lost the baby? I don't got no one to turn to, cause everyone's dead in my life that was trying to raise me. Searching for someone to tell me who I really am. I don't know when I look in the mirror. Constantly dreading the day that the audience might not be screaming for me anymore. Feeling of dying alone and not leaving anything behind is my biggest fear. Kiss the person that I love as if I'm never coming. After I leave out the door, I'm coming back to let me go. I'm coming back to let me go, yeah. I'm coming back to let me go. I'm coming back, don't let me go. I'm coming back to let me go. I'm coming back to let me go, yeah. I'm coming back to let me go. Coming back, don't let me go. Did he really fumble Megan Fox or did she come to realization, Sean? I don't think that. I just, like... He needs to use those pens to write better music. Wow. Um... Look... Wow, I know some niggas from high school that probably could have made it if they were white. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm saying that there's nothing wrong with him saying what he's saying. Um, at all. I just think it's a, it's a point where you got to acknowledge that there is a lack of, there's a disconnect when it comes to you and Machine Gun Kelly. Like this song is not going to resonate either due to whatever your perception of machine gun kelly is or appreciate the gifted or you just don't care and i think i'm in a position where i really just don't not to be like not to sound dickish about it i just i'm not connected enough to machine gun kelly to really be taking in what he's saying like that to that degree and what he's saying isn't like so incredibly fucked up 
to a point where I think I have to stop myself and be like, wow, that's crazy. Even though it's sad, um, since I don't, I'm not drawn into who Machine Gun Kelly is, it doesn't do anything for me. And it might do something for me if the circumstances that he were rapping about were like so much crazier than what a lot of people already go through. So it's just, it doesn't hit any veins for me. It doesn't really hit any like core of my being or nothing like that. But it's so, it's still like if you a Machine Gun Kelly fan, like I'm sure it'll hit, you know, it's just not, it ain't, it ain't my thing, you know. That's really what it is uh, for me personally. Eminem effed him up so bad that no one takes him serious. No, I wouldn't say that. It's just more like, you know. I'm just thinking this nigga's not caring. I mean, he still got a good a good audience, though, that's listening. Like, over a, over a mil is trending and everything. People are interested, obviously. So, like, that's that's good for him. Eminem after his prime greater than MGK as a whole plus MGK just trauma dump on us. Nah, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I just didn't I didn't feel much from the song, but you know, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, having your 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 song, like have it out, bro. It's that's that's cool, bro. Yeah, it's just not my thing. Um <laughs> What the fuck? I'm not about to show you. I'm not about to show you my screen. I'm not showing you my screen. Cause why? Why did that pop up? Why did that pop up? Nectarvid. Oh yeah, I forgot. Somebody linked me. Like, I think it was just one, but they said it was a part two to it. Hold on. Before I get to that though, I really want to see this trailer. Citizens of America, why are we bringing up Eminem? Who cared about MGK before that? Don't do that. Nigga is arguably bigger after the Eminem shit. Don't do that. Because Machine Gun Kelly had an era. Not saying it was the greatest era. But he had his moment. Well before any of that Eminem shit. And, and niggas know. You know? He was like, you know, you alright. The niggas were saying like, you alright white boy for a minute. For a, for a cool little minute. Before any of this shit.